Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I am going to talk about how I approach a pro- coding problem and I end up solving most of them. For those who are coming here for the first time, I am Rishikesh Uslade, a software developer by profession and a learner by heart. In most of the coding interviews, the question that you face in the interview is very much different from what you have prepared. It's completely new for you guys, and it's a very tricky situation for us. Solving a completely new question is not an easy task because we don't know anything about it. We don't know about the data. We don't know about which algorithm to apply. We don't know about which data structure to apply. So that's why I know this is a very tricky situation. But after going through multiple interviews and after going through multiple rounds of those interviews, I have devised a technique which helps me solve most of the coding problems. Not the best way to solve them, but something is better than nothing. So I end up most of them, most of the question solving. So this is why I am sharing this technique with you guys. Before we move on to the technique, I would like to tell you a few disclaimer about this methodology. It's not a magic wand. You need to have a lot of practice. You need to have a lot of knowledge. Then only you can solve the question. It will just help you when you are in a situation when you see a new question and you just can't think about anything. This is the methodology that is going to help you in that in those situations. So let's begin. The first part of this methodology is to understand the question in and out. Ask the interviewer any doubts that you have about the question. Be clear with anything that you have in your mind. Be it the edge cases, be it the constraints, be it about the question. Ask them everything that you have in your mind. It's a really good thing to ask the question, and especially in the interviews, it's the best thing to do. This shows your curiosity about the question and also about the demand for clarity about the question. So these are the good things that you can have as an impact on the interview. But coming to the next part is you have a clear understanding about the question. That's why it's, this is a very much important part. Also, some interviews are meant to be have open left open ended. So Google interviews are known to have questions which are open ended. So if you ask these questions, it's very much likely that you will head up and on that open ended part, and you will fill that open ended part with your queries. So that's why asking questions is very much important, and understanding the question is much more important than that. Once you have a clear understanding of the question, the next part is the most important part. Also. Is breaking down the question. What do you mean by breaking down the question? Break down the question in in smaller and easier parts that you can easily solve. So, start with just input and the output. Now you have the input. You can do some filtering operation, some sorting operation on that input data, and then try to apply some different algorithms, different data structures, or anything like that to reach the end answer. Don't just think about the end answer. Try to bring keep following me on LinkedIn and YouTube. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.